In today's Purple Alphabet Holiday Gift Guide, we are covering preschool holiday gift ideas. And of course, in this video, we also have a little giveaway prize pack for those preschoolers. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Let's talk about those preschoolers today. I have some amazing ideas that would be a lot of fun for gift giving for those preschoolers this holiday season. We've been doing holiday gift guides all through the month of November, and if you've missed those, it's not too late, you can go back and enter to win some of those because there are also some preschool gifts in those, plus a whole bunch of other things, so you don't wanna miss out on that. But in today's video, we are focusing on the preschool age. We do have a giveaway, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, but as you watch, look out for that special secret code so that you can enter to win some extra bonus entries. All right, so I got a couple of things I gotta talk to you about here and it's quite a bit actually. So let's get started with our preschool holiday gift ideas. So this is Sticko from Magformers, and I've actually showed you this before. I'm a big fan of Magformers in general, but this is a different take on what they do with magnets. The set I've showed you before is a little bit different than this set. I think you're gonna really like this one. This set is for ages 36 months and older, and there's 16 pieces in here. This is called the City Set, and the reason why it is called the City Set is because you can make some transportation vehicles that actually have a pullback motion to it. Some of these pieces are magnetic, so you can just go ahead and put them together and then they're going to stick and they work with other sticko sets. So if you have a couple of these, then you're gonna be able to create even more creations. Now the instruction book guides you through several different ways to make all sorts of different vehicles. There's lots of options in here. I'm just gonna to put together one here. Let's do this like an airplane. I'm going to just follow the picture in the manual and they just go right together very easily. And here we have our airplane. Pretty cute, right? And that was real simple to put together. Let me show you one that has the pullback. This one has the pullback motion with the special wheel set. So I just pull it back and it'll go forward when I let go. One more variation with that pullback wheel so you can get an idea. I'm gonna use this, a little bit different creation. Same thing, pull back and there it goes. The magnet magic makes this a lot of fun to do all sorts of different creations. And I love that it will also go with all sorts of other different sticko sets. Haba always has amazing, amazing toys that really focus on some skills for kids. This one's called the Color Crystal Stacking Game. It's for ages three and up. So in that side of this box, you're gonna get the four colored crystals with four different colors. They're transparent so you can see right through them. And then we can get some wooden blocks in different colors and different shapes too. So there's nine wooden blocks here. Let me move this back so you can see. Then you get all of these challenge cards and these challenge cards are what you are creating by stacking all of the pieces. So there's all kinds of different ones that you can try out here. And then you have this little frame here to help stand up your pieces. So let me walk through one really quick so you can see how it works. And what I do like about this game is that you can use the challenge cards or you can just go ahead and play with the blocks as you wish in a free play form. And I think that's really important because you have some flexibility with how you play the game. So here's my challenge card and here's my stacking frame so I can just find these pieces and begin copying the picture. I'm gonna start from the middle. These prisms are also just delightful to look at. So I'm gonna put these in next. This is just pretty, I haven't even finished, it's just a beautiful, beautiful game, love all the colors. And then we've stacked and matched the picture. And you can do it all over again with a different one. But like I said, great for using on their own and stacking whatever you wish to see how they all the pieces and all the geometric shapes work together or don't work together to build all kinds of different configurations. This is a 
book, Guyon the Lion, and it's a very special book. I did a video not too long ago about diversity in your reading shelves, and this should have been on the video, but I didn't know it existed. So I wanted to share it with you now because it's simply adorable. First of all, here's our lion. He's so cute. The illustrations in this book are just beautiful, but this is a story about acceptance of the way people are and realizing that not everybody sees the things in the same way as you do and to also appreciate things and see other people's different views of life. This was written by a parent who has a child with Down syndrome and her child likes things differently. And so it was a great way to illustrate that not everybody sees things in the same way. At the very back of the book, there's also some discussion points here, which I think are great for a home study. And then some activities that you can do with your child to help reinforce what you talked about in the book. I think what's beautiful about this book is this one quote at the end, and it really sums up everything. It says, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. And that really sums up the whole premise of the book. So I wanted to share this with you as an addition. I think giving a book for a gift is a definite must if you don't do this already. Books are so, so important and diverse books are even more important. This one should definitely be on your bookshelf. It's a beauty, really enjoyed reading this and I can't wait to have this on our shelf. Playmobil Christmas travel set is just simply adorable. If you're familiar with Playmobil at all, you already know the quality of their pieces are just fantastic and they're also great for imaginative play. This one is for ages four and up and it comes with this great carrying case so you can take it and go. You know how I love the take it and go things, right? And when you open it up, you have all of your pieces inside. Let me show you. You could use this as a play um, mat if you wanted to, but let me show you what comes inside. We get a little Christmas tree here, which is really, really cute. We also have Santa Claus and with Playmobil, their little hands move, their feet move that they could sit down. This one has a turning head and they stand up super well too. We also get an elf in this one, same thing. He moves, his little hat can come on and off so you can switch that around if you wish. And then we have our reindeer and our sleigh. Look how cute that is. And there's room on here where Santa can actually stand on the back if he wanted to or sit in the front. And then there are some toys because of course we have to have some toys. So there's a little teddy bear, a little doll. We have Santa's sack of toys here and then some other accessories too. So you can do some great imaginative play, perfect for the holidays because we're talking about these things. You can do some role play. You can bring this out only during Christmas and have it be a really special activity. And then of course, when you're done with your play, you can go ahead, pack it all back up into your case, take it with you or store it for later. Great for traveling too. Love Playmobil, love the quality. This set is adorable. These are holiday poppers, which are perfect stocking stuffers and a lot of fun for all ages. It's recommended for ages four and up. We have the Santa Claus one here and we have the snowman. They also come with the little balls to play right inside. There's six balls. Here is our reindeer that I've already opened. As you can see, super cute. And all you have to do is place the ball inside and then give some force here on the belly with a little squeeze. It makes a little noise too. Now the harder you squeeze, the farther it shoots. <laughs> it's shooting across my table here. And this is pretty soft too. So just as long as you're not shooting towards someone's head, you should be okay. But where you could use this for educational activities is actually trying to target and hit things with this ball. Maybe it's a certain sight word or an answer. And this just makes a great tool, an interactive tool, especially if you have those active kids who like to move while learning. So on the floor or on the wall, you could set up different sight words and try to aim for that sight words with these and make it learning fun. the shape factory and and of course learning about shapes can be so much fun so we have our game board play so here's our shape factory game board then we have 24 prompt cards and they're kind of in two different forms we have the regular ones and then we also have our challenge cards too we also have 28 shapes they come in different ones and then also different colors 
and then a sand timer. So over here we have our order area. This is where our cards go. We have our work area here, which is where we're going to display what we create in our shape factory. One person will pick a card. This one is a person and their job is to use the shapes to make this, what's on the card, in a minute. That's where the timer comes into play. The other person has to guess what they made correctly. And if they guess correctly, then they get a spot on the conveyor belt and you keep on playing over and over again until you're all the way down at the end. What's also great is in their guide here they have some examples of what you can make using these shapes so for instance if you didn't know how to make that person and you might need a little bit of help back here we can look up the sample for the person let's see where we can find them right here to get an idea of how to create it so if you're not ready to do these on your own without looking at a picture you could also take this guidebook and use this as a copy for visual discrimination and finding those pieces to make that item but if you come up with your own person that's also a fun way to use this kit too. You can definitely use the shapes for other activities. You don't necessarily always have to use it for just this game. Got my person, just need to add the arms. I also wanna point out too that there is an app available. They have it here on the front of the box with even more games to explore. This is the Maluk or Maluk. I can never say this right. It's one of the way weather set. And this is for bath time play. So here's what it looks like when you get it in the package. This is supposed to be like a, the weather set. So that's why this looks like the sun. And there's some nylon bristles on here for some sensory effect. And then down here is our cloud. These are meant to really stimulate the senses. So touching, seeing, and learning at the same time. Our little cloud, and you put it underneath water. And when you lift it up into the air, all of our rain falls out of the cloud. This is also easy to open and close to clean, which is very important. This cause and effect relationship learning is great for kids, especially in that bath time play. Your kids are going to want to do this one over and over and over again. It is simple, but it's definitely an entertaining one. All right, this is called Smarty Jojo, you guys, and it's really, really cute. It is an interactive toy and it does make sounds. So if you have a sensory seeker, this might be one you're interested in. But the reason why I put this in the Purple Alphabet gift guide was because of the special functions it does. Now, Jojo is one simply adorable. Look at his little hair here, so cute and soft. And he's a little airplane and he's got a couple different buttons here on the side and different shapes that will light up. And then he also has some sensors on his side and on his bottom. And this comes into play in just a minute. So we're gonna turn him on, he's gonna make some noises and he's gonna start talking. I also wanna mention that he does have a Spanish mode here on the bottom so you can have him in English or in Spanish. We're gonna stick with English for now. And he's going to come on. So we're calibrating him so he knows where he is. He's asking to push the red light, which is light, lit up right here, which is probably hard to see on my camera with all my lights. Jojo senses when he's flying in the air and he will tell you to turn right or he will tell you to turn left and you follow the directions and he will sense it. Every now and then he's going to ask to go up higher or ask to go up lower and he'll tell you if you've done it or not. I'm going to turn him off here because he's a little loud. He'll tell you to go faster and slower as you're flying him around. So that's why I like him because this is one of those toys that can play with you as you're running around the house as we know some of our kids like to do. There's also some shape and color recognition here. So he will fly and he will ask you to place him on something red or something blue or something yellow. And this little sensor down here is going to capture that color once you set it on there and the object so he'll say please fly me and place me on something blue so here's his box for example you just place them on the box he'll detect the blue and he'll give you a signal that you've gotten it correct sometimes he'll even ask you to push the colored buttons here on the side or the correct shape and then he'll give you just commands on how to play with him and what to do there's random actions and there's different things that he says over 150 different things So as you can see, it's a lot of fun to experiment with and to take directions and learn at the same time. This is Vertiplay Marble Run from Aurabelle and oh my God.
goodness. It is so cool. It is a STEM activity that you play on your wall, which comes with six silicone baseboards, 11 straight tracks, six curvy tracks, two spiral vortexes, two seesaws, two pinwheels, four end caps, 30 connectors, 80 pivot connectors, and four balls. This is recommended for ages four and up. I do want to mention that they do have smaller sets that you can check out on their website too. So they have quite the variety to pick from. The silicone baseboards are what you're going to use to place your tracks on for your marble run. These are peel and stick. So you just peel off the backing and stick them to your wall. They will stick on raw wood, laminates, drywalls, and smooth surfaces, but they're not going to stick on textured or rough surfaces. So just keep that in mind. What's great about this marble run is you get to create it. So you're learning a lot of cause and effect here, how things work, how they won't work, trial and error. It is 100% STEM. There's definitely spatial thinking and problem solving here, logical thinking, imagination, and creativity as you build this. I love that you can put it up and take it back down. You can try different things and you can experiment. So putting this on a wall is a great benefit for kids, especially in that preschool age, because they're working on their trunk and core strength. There are endless combinations and challenges, even just with the base plates, because you can put them in any configuration you want, all together, all separate, in different shapes and different patterns, as well as all of the pieces and tracks. You're gonna find an infinite amount of creativity on this one. Hours of play and experimenting, you're not gonna wanna stop, it is a lot of fun. Giveaway time! Of course, first of all, I always ask if you could kindly subscribe to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel, greatly would appreciate that. Then in the comments down below, tell me which preschool item was your favorite. Then, we are giving away in this video, the Holiday Poppers, which would be a very fun stocking stuffer, the Sticko set, and the Shape Factory. This will be one prize pack bundle, so you have a couple of gifts in there. Head on over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. That's in the description box. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. Make sure to watch right after Thanksgiving. That's when I'm gonna announce the winner. So if you wanna find out if you won, that's probably a good thing to do. So hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on that. And of course, it's not too late to do those other holiday gift guide videos. The playlist is down below in the description box. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.